I'm Highlight of Vision Express.com. Um, in this video, I'm going to build up the whole complete song from start to finish because I could go through the whole process on talking about the different elements and stuff like those. Uh, like I've done with the hi hat, that was like pff, pretty stupid. I know that. Um, but I thought like I'm going to make a longer session out of it and talk you through the basic elements about sequencing and um, how the whole song pro progress over time could work just an idea uh, because every song may vary and that's that's the most well, problem part um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mumble a lot <laughs> and that's one of the reasons why this thing may become the most boring part yet um, but I'm going to rush this as in really really fast at least I hope I hope you can make a song like this in this, uh, this, uh, this speed uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this whole hi-hat sequence right there and I'm going to make a few transitions over here right there, right there, right there just like that add a break over here Maelstrom is going to be rotated 1, it's going to be filter frequency 1, filter frequency 2 right there, uh, A and B, uh, both on rotated 1. Uh, we'll do the same thing with the other one, that's going to be rotated 1, rotated 1, and we'll say filter frequency B, filter frequency A, right there, so I can use this knob right there to control both filter frequencies at the same time. I'm just going to make a minor adjustment over here, right there, right there, right there. Um, I'm going to fact check, yep, that's pan over left, pan over right, okay, I'll call this filter right there, I'll drop off the filter at first, and then say right click, edit automation, there it goes, and then draw on the bar, rotate, you're going open up right there, okay. Also make note, at this point I'm still making a complete dry mix. There are no effects whatsoever taking place in this whole song. Uh, just because of the fact that I'm going to balance that out later using effects. I'm going to drop off this uh, level on the hi-hats. I'm going to use more velocity settings over here as well. Increase those, increase those, increase those. Just because it adds a little bit like a, a, an amp variation uh, from one hi-hat to another. And another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add an additional uh, close hi-hat that's going to be a stepper, um, which is in this case going to be one more like the presence thing uh, that sits inside the rhythm drum computer and that's going to be exclusive drum sorted and I'm going to go for hi-hats and I think I'm going to go for the XC7. Yep, there's, it, there's that. XC7 has a more like the it's more like a flat type of thing. Sounds a little like picky and stuff like those. I'm going to go for one, two, three, and I'm going to drop off the level. Drop off the level, so I can use those to control different variations. I'm going to increase the pitch and decrease the pitch on the third channel and the second channel. Uh, the second channel and the third channel. Because when I'm going to play this in a sequence, 
I'm basically playing with the pitch on the hi hat. That's the whole idea. Okay. Bring the decision later. Um, now I've got fact check. Uh, where's my loop, 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 loop? There, that's my loop right there. Go for four bars. Play. Let's make these short notes. Play with the velocity while doing so. Just like that. Copy paste, copy paste, copy paste, copy paste, and I repeat the cycle. Right? Okay. This can go bye, 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 bye. Okay. That's our close high switch. Let's tune this just a little bit. Uh, fine tune it. Length, velocity increase. Oh, velocity increase. There, there, drop level. And I'm also going to go for a, call it a shaker type of thing. Again, using a different read drum. And for the shaker, I need to go to the percussion high. That one. That could work. That thing is too long. I'm going to go for the XTC5. That one. Do the same thing again. One, two, three. <clears throat> and we'll drop the level, drop the level, increase the velocity, increase the velocity, change the pitch. That's one down. That's two up or three up. Kind of depends. Different variation, right? Uh, and the thing that I could do is uh, go for this section right here. Let's loop this, really short loop. And this thing acts more like the accent type of thing. So uh, this thing could go on uh, either there. And then use some alternate beats in between. Drop the frosty, drop the frosty. I'm not sure if it's going to work. There, there, and there. And I'm going to reduce the level rather harsh. Drop it. Because it just needs to be that little accent on top of the sound itself. It doesn't need to go all the way up front because most of the highs are already doing that. So it's just going to be a little like I said, an accent. I'm even going to drop it even further. Bring the original hi-hat session that we have, uh, that's right there, right click, join clips, right there, right there, right there. <clears throat> okay, at this point I'm going to add another breakdown right here. to do is I'm going to add an additional layer that's going to be a percussion element I'll just stick it over here that's going to be a, a cheap and easy Dr. X loop layer and I'm going to bring in a bunch of congas and bongas and stuff like those just because of the fact that I find it fitting that's the only reason why I'm going to do that um, so we'll go for congos and bongos uh, let's see what we can find over here I think I'm going to go for something like this, but reshuffle that whole thing in a different direction because I can. Um, not because I want to, but because I can. Uh, let's say uh, run. Oh, this could already like work. I mean, why not? <laughs> let's say copy pattern to track. Uh, let's go get rid of this uh, run button right there. Disable. Thank you. And the next thing that I'm going to do is take this pattern 
that's that pattern right there because it plays a, st a straightforward loop and every slice is just like a percussion hit right there but one thing that I could do really fast is say okay I have this uh, straightforward loop but I'm going to reshuffle that in a different direction um, so that it could be done like this is uh, you take uh, let's say uh, this loop right here and we'll basically take out a few notes over here let's get rid of these right there uh, take that like that and take that like that and then go for that direction It's a whole different loop all of a sudden. <coughs> That's kind of like the beauty. Uh, but because I need more control later on for, let's say, velocity sensitive parts or uh, changes within the riff itself, I'm going to add a lot of velocity change over here. <coughs> right there and go to the thing that's called velocity to uh, amp right there crack the thing all the way open which means that later on I can use the velocity lane to make changes within the level <coughs> let's parallel compress the crap out of this uh, using an effect that's going to be a, a pulverizer demolition and that goes like that right way balance squash and drop the form just a nudge should also have a distorted baseline. That's my lead. That's my baseline right there. So that's the next thing that I'm going to bring into play. Um, that thing goes somewhere uh, over here. Uh, where are we at? There. That can go there. We'll break it over here, right there. And it's going to be drop. And we'll take the bass drum. That's going to be drop right there. Uh, basically repeating the same breaks over and over again. That's kind of like the direction I'm going for. Um, in the end, uh, my targeted length would be uh, somewhere there. 320 bars. Um, because that makes the song duration about 8-9 minutes. Uh, a typical Go Trans song lasts for a long time. Now i got to figure out a sequence over here. Hold on, this is going to be the time consuming part. Thing that I need. Okay, resonance goes all the way to down.
take the resonance. Join these clips. I think, I think, there's that, there's that, okay. The thing that I'm missing right now is a setting to control those screen 4 units. Uh, did I miss that? Oh, it's the mod wheel, sorry. Okay, uh, let's go for right click, edit animation on the mod wheel, then there we go, thank you. So now I can use the mod wheel over here to control the shape of the screen 4 unit, because I can just open it up, open it up, open it up like that. And then open it up later on like that again, right there. So it's going to be a repeating loop, more or less. That's the whole idea. But that's the whole idea with this type of genre. It's looping, 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 adding elements, elements, adding elements, stuff like that. Something is going wrong over here, uh, with the timing of it all. Uh, now I got a fact check, hold on. Uh, what's happening over here? This thing should be located over here. Uh, right, okay. That thing should be located over here. Okay. That thing should be located over there. Okay. That thing should be located over there. And that should be located over there. Right there. Okay. Now we are back on track. Okay, this thing can go there, nothing goes there, nothing goes there, right there. Thank you very much. Okay, well, uh, the next thing that I'm going to do, that's this uh, hi-hat session, the shuffle thingy, uh, bub bub, the shaker. I already have that, okay, thanks. Um, <clears throat> now to bring in this open hi-hat thing, that's going to be this section right here. Uh, I'm going to play that one first, now we're going to play that one right there, now we're going to play that one right there, uh, it's going to go there, uh, no not there, yeah there, thanks, okay, some step, yep, there we go, then go for that one as the last one, right there, so that's going to be my hi-hat section, sequence, copy paste, 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 Drop this off. Level. Because this is going to be the more the climax bit. Let me put it away. Bring in the open uh, the close eyes. Right there. Uh, bring in the bass line right there, and then bring in the bass line right there, and then bring in these right there as well. Right there, right there, right there. There, there, there. And I'm going to change the tone of this thing. It's going to be there. Mod wheel. Change the index. Not like that. Lower, 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 lower. Lower, I need lower. going to be a, a, a sudden drop in tone, at least a, a different tonation. That's that's the angle I'm going for. Okay, that's that's whole setup. And now I need a clap or a snare drum. I'm going to go for a snare drum, I think. Snare drum is going to be a saturated drum. And usually, that's my comfort zone, is going to go for the treasure. What a surprise, what a surprise. I'm going to use the treasure drum. Where are you at? That's uh, SD, treasure. There. That one. Right there. 
There should also be a saturated drum inside of the Kong session, section. Um, sounds and samples. Snare drums. That one. Those two. I think I'm going to go for this one. Because the other one sounds way too bright. But in this case, this thing has a lot of presence to it. And that's the thing that's going to be an issue. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is take uh, this section right here. That's going to be the equalizer. Equalizer. I'm going to drop off a lot of those low ends because I don't need those. Make, make it bright. Uh, and I'm going to drop off the level of this one. Make it, sh make it softer. And I'm going to parallel compress the crap out of this one as well using the pulverizer again. Uh, pulverizer, where you at? Uh, pulverizer, demolition. Parallel compress setup right there. Squash it right there and drop the level just a nudge. Uh, because parallel compression also makes it louder. That's one, one of the reasons. Um, the snare goes on the second beat and the fourth beat. That is pretty straightforward on how this goes. Second beat and the fourth beat and that's all there is. Uh, copy paste, copy paste, and that's oh, don't save. Uh, copy paste, 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 paste. There, thanks. Ooh, that's way too fast. That's way too fast. Hold on, joint clips. Uh, let's time stretches. Uh, right there, right there. Thanks. That's better. I think, I think I'm going to pitch this up. my second layer. Uh, that thing goes there. Thank you. Top light. Okay. Yeah, I know I go freaking fast. There. Okay. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to do, uh, where is my sawtooth? Because that's going to be the turning point. All I'm doing right now is just making the intro. That, that's all there is. So for the lead, I'm going to go for this route. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's let's record this. Uh, let's go for copy paste. Record this and then say um, F8. I think it's F8 because I'm the most suckiest player that's out there. So I'll just do this live like this and then say pre click on right there and then say there. Two, three. That, that's what I meant. This is not working. <laughs> Especially with the microphone in the way. That sucks. Um, hold on. I'll press uh, pre-click pre there. Uh, let's see here. That's one, two. I gotta figure out which notes. I'm going to go F. I think I'm going to go for G. And then F and then C and then that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That last one, the last one is wrong. Last one is wrong. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, are you feeling stressy right now? Are you feeling stressed? <laughs> uh, where are we at? Uh, that's. I think that's the last one. That 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 does, doesn't seem fitting. Um, hold on. Control A, Control K, right there. Okay, quantize notes. Uh, can I get this moving? Move, move. Move, move, hello, move, 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 move. Why is this? Oh, the, the, the. Like I've said, this is not being like a traditional video tutorial, like you see me do like this. Freaking nut, nuts. This is freaking nuts, right? Freaking nuts. <laughs> Mm. Oh, the, 
said last night needs to go by. Bye. There. Bye. Okay, fine. We have ourselves a sequence to work with. Okay, cool. That's going to be my main sequence. Not the best. I don't care. Um... <laughs> Right click edit automation, uh, right click edit automation right there and use the filter to open it up right there, right there, right there and yep, 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 Okay, now I need a pad, it's going to be pad, 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 it's going to be this one right there, right? Ah, uh, sheep one from going to fit over here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about the E note. I'm not sure about the E note. Um, hold on. Uh, let's let's press record and I see what's happening. Oh crap! I'm going to run out of time. That, that could almost work. That could almost work. Hold on. I'll uh, resequence this um, because I'm missing a note. I'm missing a note. What, what am I missing? Uh, let's go from D to F to A to. Uh, I'm going to go for there. Or did I have the idea to make it long? Could also be the case. Not sure. I'll go for that route. Right. I think. Ah, I see what happened. I see what I see what happened. That thing should be there. That is something that happens for me from time to time. That just jumps to the beginning of the sequence. Okay, now I need that subtone baseline that's going there, and then I have this uh, other baseline that goes there. Uh, use that there, and then go for the rest there. That is baseline. Um, uh, do I do I do I use the the, the presence thing? I am not sure. I don't think so. Work. I will also bring in this uh, percussion element over here. Uh, that thing goes there as well. There. Uh, and then <coughs> I also need the snare. And then I will increase the climax by just using that sawtooth momentum and then only keep the bass from going. Why is my control key not working? Thanks. Keep the bass drum uh, going there. That's that one. Join clips. Move that up. Move that up. Move that up. Move that up. And while doing this, I'm going to open up the filter and drive this thing to insanity. That's the whole idea. Uh, and for that purpose, I need this um, bass line because this thing screams like crazy, and that's the part that I really need. Um, and then use a rotate one to open it up. Rotate one is going to go opened up right there. Um, this is just click and point references. I have no clue how this is going to sound like. Uh, we'll just have to figure that out the hard way. Uh, and then use uh, the filter frequency to open it up like that right there. And at the same time, I might eventually, that's going to be another thing in the back of my head, is while I have that rotate, this one, I'm going to use this to control the release of both four patches. I thought I had two, right? Yes, I have two. Okay. So, say, Thor, rotate 3 is going to be amp release, release right there. Uh, that is going to happen with that one as well. Amp release. Drop it off right there, set back to native right there, and then use that to open up the release state of the Thor patch right there. Sounds fine. Or it looks fine. 
I'm not sure how it sounds like. Um, right, uh, let's see here. Uh, percussion elements. Uh, I'm just going to keep the bass line right there. That can go there. And we'll take the snare. Snare goes along. Uh, and I'm going to take that shuffle. That's the shuffle thingy. Uh, I'll put that there at the end. Right there. I'm going to use that as a reference because I like this idea a lot. Um, that is partially the problem with sequencing. If you're going to sequence a lot of stuff like this, then a lot of those things depend on different ideas that go in the back of your head. And that's partially the thing that I've already done. Like I already like planned ahead, like how am I going to do this and how am I going to make this work? Well, that's kind of like the whole thing with making a song. It doesn't work always the same and well, it kind of depends like how things flow. And that is partially the problem that you cannot do in, let's say, a video tutorial like this. It doesn't really, really work that way. I mean, then it will be like, okay, these are the notes. You can just copy and paste them and then we're basically done. That's not the way you make a sequence. I mean, come on. Also, I'm going to place that one there. And I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, yes I think, I can think, I think I'm going to drop the level of this uh, snare room because I have a feeling like it's way too loud inside of this mix. Now comes the part where I think to myself, like, I need rack extensions uh, to pull it all off. Because I'm thinking about setting up an antidote, and that's from Synapse, and this thing screams like crazy regarding to be a, a sawtooth thing. So that's going to be my next thing. I'm going to set this thing to uh, diet, right there. Voice count goes to pretty high, right there. Detune that thing pretty high, space it out over left versus right, right there. And use that to control, let's say, a saw wave. Let's go for arpeggiator mode, right there, up down. And then drop this off inside of a uh, diode letter filter. I need a diode, right there. Drop off the filter frequency, right there. A little bit decay, a little bit sustain, uh, just like that. And I also need a amount. There you are. Ooh, that's way too hot. That's way too hot. There. Not sure. Um, can I set this up with a mod wheel? Uh, mod wheel to uh, parameter mod wheel to open up filter. You got fact check. Filter cutoff, and I think I'm also going to set this up with a delay right there. I think I think I'm even going to throw that against a screen four unit. Um, a fact screen four unit. There you are. Set this thing to scream, just like that. Damage control a little bit lesser, and drop the low frequencies. No, 
not, I'm not sure if this is going to work though. Because eventually I want to do something like that again. Um, so I'm just going to say edit automation. And then I'll, uh, well, let's, let's just see how this flows. I mean, come on, why not? Uh, record. That's going to be my initial sequence, and I have no clue if this is actually in key though, because I I think I have messed a few things up. But we'll just have to figure this out the hard way. Um, because what I could do is say, okay, these are my notes right there. Um, that is the part that I really love about certain rack extensions. Throwing in an arpeggiator is done like really easy uh, especially in terms like uh, rack extensions like uh, Perter has this um, what have you not I mean everything just has a arpeggiator these days uh, Cork is also pretty cool with those stuff mono the monopoly and stuff like those um, right there right there okay that's rack extensions uh, there 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 and let's see what happens if we open up the filter because I have a feeling there are certain keys that are off tune, but there's only one way to figure that one out. Set the filter cutoff all the way open like that and see how this plays like. <laughs> it could kind of it could kind of work though. It could kind of work. It's a little bit tricky that I'm doing this. But I like the odds. Um, okay, let's bring this into play. Uh, this thing needs a automation switch uh, on the mod wheel. There you go. And then use that to open up the filter right there, right there, right there. And uh, we'll use that later, right there. <coughs> and then I'll use this sweeping path thing right there. That's the yellow O pad. Use that later. Uh, bring in the bass lines, uh, that's bass line number one, that's bass line number two, right there. And then use uh, per the uh, screaming thing else well, but then not that modulated on the scream itself. I'll just muffle this, muffle that, right there, muffle it there, right there, right there. This is just going to be one of those edit automation projects. It's going to be like edit automation, edit automation, edit automation. That's the thing that I usually do if it comes to setting up a Go or Trend song. It's a lot of automation things. Um, open up the filter, open up the filter right there, just a nudge. Build up the climax again. Uh, bring in this percussion element right there. And I can also use something like a break percussion. That's going to be, I think, a you do. Not sure if that's going to work though. We'll just have to figure that out the hard way. We'll go for open up the programmer over here, say, uh, or I could go for congas, could also work. Uh, no. Press one. Nope. I will go for that. Um, that's uh, Congress 7 right there. Compare it to the track because the thing that I'm going to do is slap this in once, break it right there, and then go for a lot of different effects and sweep things in and out and stuff like those and make it totally nuts. Uh, this thing needs to disable. Thank you. And then go like a brip, and then go like that, and then go like that. Okay, so that's my transition right there. <clears throat> I 
I think this is not going to work though. Uh, I'll keep it there. Why not? Uh, put some distortion on it. Uh, using a pulverizer. Pulverizer right there. Uh, a fact that's going to be a pulverizer right there. Power will compress the crap out of this, but also add some little dirt on top of the thing as well. Why not? There. kind of work right why not um, because basically what I'm doing is I'm breaking down the whole song again and now I'm going to build up another climax part but this also goes in conjunction with a lot of effects and stuff like those well to make that work I'm going to go for another rack extension uh, that I really love to use especially in the terms like these is able the able the able come on uh, that's going to be the baseline of course who would have thought of that, right? Drop the filter frequency, increase the resonance right there, add some accents on that whole thing right there, thank you, and put some dirt on it right there. I think I'm going to go for it. Because I need that little air, that, I'll go for that one. Make it loud. Compress it. There's compressor right there. Uh, in fact, I will go for the M class. Right there. Okay, use that. Uh, let's bring it into play. Uh, this is it is just going to stab a few notes. I mean, it's going to be similar as this one right there, but it's going to be lesser repetitive. Let me put it that way. Uh, why is this thing playing? There. Uh, maybe something like, uh, call it blade style or, yeah. Something like this could work, I mean, why not? Dum. Dum, 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 dum. No, not there. I need it there. I'll go for three step. Why not? There. That's the business. Right there. And then later delay it, of course. I mean, that's the whole idea. It becomes really, really, really trippy. Play with the filter. Play with the filter right there. Maybe we could also play with some chords. This is what I meant with sequencing and doing that in a video doesn't really work because there are all these different ideas and sometimes I come up with other ideas and stuff like those. Uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, call me stupid, right? Yeah, you can call me stupid. I will also bring in this uh, path thing. Where are you at? There you are. No, that's not the one. That one. But then play with the filter. Uh, I could also use some nice pinging type of sounds. Uh, simple setup, subtractor bass, uh, go for shine. Use a lot of reverb right there. Reverb effect. Uh, reverb, where you at? Um, there. <clears throat> a lot of decay. That stuff. Right? 
make the tonal noise a little bit like bright and stuff like that. Well, to enhance the binaural effect, I'm also going to do that like this. Take that two times, uh, that thing goes in left, that thing goes in right, and then uh, use a pre-delay with a few milliseconds, because it adds space. That's the whole idea again. So. I think, I think even, now I'm thinking out loud about it. Uh, now I'm thinking out loud about it, I'm also going to apply some frequency modulation on top of this sound. Uh, bring in a second oscillator, right there, drop that one octave, right there, bring it all the way open, right there, and then use uh, this section right there, that's the mod envelope, to control the filter frequency amount, but not too much. Just like that. That's going to be freaking sweet. Okay, um, let's bring this in. Uh, let's see uh, how I'm going to play this. I have no idea. I'm still not sure. <laughs> Well, let's sequ sequence this manually then. I mean, come on. Uh, let's let's do it like this. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Uh, it's going to be my native note. No, one higher, right there. Uh, let's set this up into uh, eight bar, one eighth, right there. Uh, use one note and then uh, play some random notes. I mean, that's all I'm doing. Uh, play some random notes. Uh, that's right there there because this needs to be like a transition effect more or less it's not really a sequence just being a transition effect uh, let's see that's a and then d high uh, that's d high and then go for a then g and now i gotta go back so i'm going to go for f and then go for um c c right there and then uh we'll play a I'm not going to go for G, D sharp. I, I think that's not going to work. At least, at least not for the longer notes. Let me put it that way. Go back to D. Uh, go back to A. A is right there. And then go back to F. And then do it like that. Where are we at? There we are. Thanks. And then maybe try and stretch it like that. There. Just going to be one of those little ping, 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 ding, ping, ding, ping, ding. ding. Time is off. Yeah, that's what I thought. I, I also choose to, uh, let's say, use a, a, a guitar. That also works in these type of uh, these type of setups. As you take like a uh, NNXT and then go for this one, uh, NNXT. Take a guitar and then uh, go for uh, guitar, 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 guitar. Uh, I think I showed this before. Not sure. Uh, NNXT sample patches and then go for guitar strings there, and then go for something like a AC6. And then say copy the setup right there, copy set setup right there, and then say paste right there, uh, paste. Even even better yet, I'm going to go for that idea as well. Uh, that thing goes there as well, right there. Because they play nicely together. Why not? Okay, now I have to go back to my original sequence that I had, because at some extent I have a feeling like I'm stalling on this whole idea. Um, 
so we'll just have to figure that one out um, that part goes there okay and uh, that goes there and I'm also going to change that ABL 3 lead while doing so um, so this thing goes somewhere here and then make some alternate alternating sequences going like hey what's this one? let's size that one again something like that stuff like that going from D and then D along and then go from D sharp to C right there that, that kind of plays like this right there and then with a little bit of delay uh, later on so I hope that actually works I have no idea and then use that transition one more time and then drop the notes the other, other way around like that so you go from D sharp to C sharp or from D sharp to C and then the other way around like from C to D sharp um, just building tension building tension building transitions stuff like those um, because later uh, at least that's going in the back of my head right now to do is later when I've done making this whole complete sequence I will probably make a new video that contains all the different effect building stuff because that's going to be a vital key in part of this type of setup because I'm not focusing on effects at all at the moment um, now I have to find my original lead where do I have that that's right there okay let's crack this thing all the way open like that bring that into play I think I'm going to drop in uh, another uh, break right there so break right there take that second break that I already had bring that back into play over there and then use the bass lines over here uh, to well basically make the whole thing go nuts um, so I'm going to use the filters a lot uh, this thing that's the sub down that's the, the picky thing and this thing has a filter frequency modulation thing going on okay open it up right there um, and then I have this section uh, section this section that's that combinator thing that's the rough baseline I'm going to use that against the same exact baseline that I have right there so now I got to figure out if that's the correct note I think it is and then use the rotaries to control the filter frequency and the resonating tones and the screen for unit while doing so. so that goes there, that, there, 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 uh, there, there. Uh, I think, I think, I think, I think I'm going to do it like that. Uh, there. Yep. Make it longer. Make it longer. Right there. Okay, that's that whole setup. Uh, this thing can go there. Uh, I also need the hi-hat sessions. Hi-hat session. Hi-hat session is located over here. I will move this up. That's one. And I got to find it again. That's the nasty part with long songs. Um, zooming in, zooming out, zooming in, zooming out. Zoom in, zoom out. There. And then go for that shuffle type of thing. There. Uh, that's not the right one. I need this one. Right there. Move that up. Move that up, move that up, move that up. I also need the snare drum later. Uh, snare drum, snare drum is located right there. Need that as well. And then I'm copy and paste it there as well. And that should be that. And then have the pad. Where's pad? Where is pad? Pad, where you at? Pad, 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 there. That's pad right there. Bring the pad into play there. That's pad. Also, this pad has a thing on the mod wheel right there. Use that as well. Uh, so that goes there. Open it up, open it up, open it up, open it up. And close it down, close it down, close it down. Open it up, close it down, open it up, close it down. Last bit, that's this thing. Um, that's the main lead. Uh, this thing also has a filter and a release. Uh, uh, filter and a resonance. Release could also open up just a little bit. I'm going to open up the filter while doing so. That goes there, right there, right there, 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 there. And that should be it, I think. We're almost there.
I think you get the point. Um, the thing is, I might note, is that this thing sounds pretty dry. I haven't really focused on many levels yet. That was all intentional. I will probably uh, get a lot of flack because it sucks. Uh, whatever. <laughs> that doesn't really matter. The point is this. This is kind of like the overall song structure that I'm building up to well, kind of make the whole thing move. And these transitions are going to be rather long at some extent. Um, that is also one of the reasons why it's really hard for me to make a video tutorial like in short snippets like 10 minutes time Okay, this is how we make a lead. That's how we make that and how this is how we that and pfft, eh, Doesn't really work that way But anyway, I thought it was fun to do it So now I actually have the foundation more or less and now we can build on making different effects and transitions and stuff like those But I thought it would be nice to show you the whole workflow on the whole arrangement more or less um, because this is some information that most people don't tell you, like how you do it. And this is how I normally do it. Uh, build on the whole thing. That, that's all. You have your heart, then you have your organs, your liver, your lungs, and then the, the muscles, and then the bones, and stuff like those. That's kind of like the way I build a song. Kind of like a full-scale body. Anyways, a little topic about setting up a sequencer. Uh, sequence 4. Go trends. Have lots of fun, and I will talk to you later.